Hi, my beautiful people. Lana Dry here, coming to you live from this beautiful nation, Namibia. So I am from Zimbabwe. Uh, I have a very, very interesting video. I just want to talk about Namibia and Zimbabwe. I want to do a comparison. Um, I don't mean to compare these countries in a bad way, but I just want to, you know, uh, give some insights so that if people want to know, like uh, if there are any Zimbabweans who would want to come to Namibia or who are just curious about Namibia and the other way around if there are any Namibians who are curious about Namibia uh, that's what I'm, I'll be talking about in this video so where can I start? let me cross the road uh, there's a car coming Namibia is actually a beautiful country Come with me guys uh, If you are new to the channel please consider subscribing on this channel we do travel content and if you have been here before and you haven't subscribed I don't know what you are waiting for man So it's a bit windy but I hope you can hear me Where can I start? Let's start about the location For those who don't know uh, Zimbabwe is in Southern Africa um, Namibia is also in Southern Africa but like on the western part of southern africa uh, that's where you find namibia zimbabwe is a landlocked country and namibia it is along the atlantic ocean that's where you find Namibia. so that's like a difference there um, let's talk about the population in zimbabwe we are around i think 16 million people and in namibia i think they are approaching 3 million so in zimbabwe we are a lot Namibians not so much right so Namibia is a big country but then the population is small the population is just like small um, whereas Zimbabwe is not it's not that big it is big but not that big but there are a lot of people um, what else would you want to know uh, if I'm to compare the two countries oh yes the people in general Zimbabweans are really nice and at the same time, Namibians are also nice. Um, so if you go to Zimbabwe, we speak Shona and, and Dembele mostly. But there are so many languages. I think we, there are about 16 languages in Zimbabwe. But mostly we speak Dembele and Shona. So if you go to Zimbabwe, if you are like areas like Harare, the capital city, and uh, other provinces like Mashonali provinces, stuff like that, you, people will be speaking in Shona. Right. It's very rare to find someone speaking English unless they need, they have to, right? They will just be speaking in Shona. But uh, here in Namibia, there are so many languages. But if you move around, you realize people are just speaking in English. You just go to the store, you're speaking English. You want to buy something, English. You want to ask for direction, English, even though they have their own language. So that's like a different. So it's easier to communicate here. In Namibia using English without anyone judging you but my small when people sometimes if you're speaking English let's say you're in the ghetto of something the thing you want to show off if you're just speaking English why you can't go there you can't say how much is this you have to speak like in, in, a, in a local language it's the same attitude I got in Tanzania as well they look at you you are black like me why are you speaking to me in English right um what else let me talk about the political uh, situation between the two countries. I can say in Namibia things are kind of stable, people don't really talk much about politics. Of course opposition is there. Um, I, I can't say uh, the government is impressing everyone, but it seems like people don't really talk much about politics. Whereas in Zimbabwe, hey, it's like every day people are talking about politics. Chamisa this, Nanga Gwadad, Zanu BF and all those things. So you realize that in Zimbabwe, I wouldn't say people are disgruntled, right? They are not really happy with the political situation and they are not afraid to speak out. Zimbabweans, they want to, you know, to be all over the place, man, talking about their situation in every media platform that they get. And of course, things are that bad in Zimbabwe, I do agree as compared to Namibia of course here they are using their own current Namibian dollars whereas in Zimbabwe people don't have confidence in our own money which is the RTGS 
or bonds, whatever you call it. People don't trust that. They want US dollars. And so we have a multi current system. In Namibia, they have, how should I say, a jewel? I don't know how to call that, but like they are into that rand system whereby they also use the South African rand and the Namibian dollar. Those two, if you want to come to Namibia, you must have either, you must buy either Namibian dollars or South African rands. In Zimbabwe runs, you can also use them, but you can't use Namibian dollars in Zimbabwe. You have to change and buy maybe US dollars, but it's easier to change South African runs in Zimbabwe. Maybe it's because there's so much traffic between uh, South Africa and Zimbabwe in that border. Big bridge. So this is like a police station right there. The police station. If you commit a crime, you find it from here. You don't have that. Maybe some papers. And one thing about, I love about Namibia, guys, is that like even if you're a foreigner, no one will harass you. Even not even the police, right? Asking asking for papers and stuff like that. You just be walking around as if you are Namibian. After all, we are Africans. So this is also my country, my continent, man. Um, the economies. Uh, Namibia, you know, it's like most part is like the, the desert and all those things i don't really know much about namibia but what i do know is that the fish, fishing industry is very big tourism is, industry is very big um, they also have a port like i said namibia is uh, along the atlantic ocean uh, the town called wolves bay that's like uh, where you find uh, nam ports the port for namibia and they also do mining mining as well it's also a, a part of the economy and then um, and then like Zimbabwe it's more of agriculture mining and what else Zimbabwe tourism of course we have uh, uh, Victoria Falls everybody knows even though zambians want to claim that victoria falls is theirs but if you want amazing views of victoria falls you gotta be in zimbabwe man. but after um if i'm going to say if i'm to choose between namibia and zimbabwe i would say life right now in namibia is kind of I would, I would say it's kind of better you know if things are working out for you because here you barely really see the the problems with electricity and water even though the water is like it doesn't taste nice though <laughs> we have to buy water to drink but water is always coming out of the tape and the electricity is always there i don't even know where namibia is getting the electricity from i think they are buying from south africa and whilst in south africa they have load shedding there anyway that's not my story i'm just comparing namibia and in Zimbabwe so uh, yeah in terms of infrastructure um, if you go to the capital of Vinduk it's kind of well developed the buildings are kind of new um, beautiful it's really nice I would say Vinduk is, is beautiful uh, compared to compared to Harare but but Harare is is big as compared to, to Vinduk and then the living conditions of the locals here uh, this is what i don't like there are people who live in those tree houses like we call them shacks like in south africa you don't find those in Zimbabwe, but here in Namibia you find them so guys i don't want to make this video too long i advise you to come and visit uh, namibia namibia is a beautiful country i love it and this is a hospital it's called uh, the Ovisia. So that was me just taking a walk. Uh, I'm coming from the shops. I went to buy some stuff. So now I'm going home. And I'll just, I just decided to do a video and talk to you guys. So hope I've done a, a proper comparison. Um, I know some of you, if you guys, if you're wondering if I would comment whether Namibia has beautiful women or not I'll stay, I'll stick with my Zimbabwean women
But here dressing is another thing also that you realize is different. Women here they dress like bum shorts and all those things, short dresses, which is you know, which is quite okay. I mean that's the generation that we are living in. And um, but like in Zimbabwe you see those things in certain places, not like everywhere. But here it seems like people they are just free even at home, they can just wear that, they don't care, they can go to the mall with their father wearing a bum shot. Which is kind of unusual if you like put it in a Zimbabwean setting. It's unusual. But there are people who do it. Um, especially people who live like in urban areas. But it's unusual. Uh, cost of living. Cost of living. Accommodation here is kind of expensive. It's expensive. I would say as compared to Zimbabwe. Mm. And then things like food and stuff, groceries. I mean, if you are working and you are hustling i think it's affordable it's it's, it's really affordable compared to ah, i'll say it's just the same zimbabwe if you are working you're hustling ah, but zimbabwe is expensive groceries are expensive in zimbabwe yeah here gross things like groceries and stuff like that they are cheap but in zimbabwe it's uh it's expensive and one more thing i like about Namibia is their transport system. You see, in Zimbabwe, transport is a nightmare. If you go, if you are using, I mean, public transport like buses, combis, and all those things, it's a hassle. You'll be fully packed in there. I don't, five people in a small car, like on the same seat. But here, they respect the, they don't overload, right? They respect the rules and the regulations, they don't overload. Um, and the head system it's kind of efficient they don't have to wait for it to be full for you to go you can just get into your taxi and boom they can go with you i don't know if i've left something out guys uh, comparing the two countries but i love them both uh, zimbabwe is my home country it's easier there because of language because of culture Mm. Culture differences, not so much. Africa is almost the same, guys. So, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please consider subscribing. This is Leonard signing out. Tell me which country do you love the most Namibia or Zimbabwe? What do you love about Zimbabwe and what do you love about Namibia? Wow, so this is Namibia. Uh.